Well, I'm going to try my best to uh, make a video of this, but first custom, I've, well, second custom this year, haven't had much time. It's the um, Christmas build, holiday build. So I'm going to mash these two together, see what we get. Moon eyes. Sick. Dotson, of course. Bluebird 510, everyone's favorite. So, don't worry, that milk, it's all out. I'm not just leaving that. Okay, thinking like that, maybe like that. I don't know. This will be like an open spot for Christmas goodies. Anyways, let's see what we come up with, huh? As I was digging through my tote here to get my tools, and I was about to start working on my dots, and I noticed, hey, I've already got one broken up in there, and there's the rest of it. So, I don't know why I just opened up this, but I did. So, um, I don't have to drill this one up, but I do get to drill this one up. So, just gonna get this rivet, just one on here, right there, gonna chop it up. Number one, it's hard to do this on camera. Number two, it's hard to do it on camera on this counter. Number three, I need new drill butts that are apparently sharper. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So the idea, something like that. Crazy long, maybe I turn this guy around and it feeds right into it. And then this is the front. I would ask you what you guys think, but there's not enough time. So let's see where we end up. I've decided to keep the, the look of the dots in, okay? My idea is to cut out right there and right there, take this whole front piece up, pop that guy in there like that. So that's the idea. Right now I'm gonna start by cutting these off and see how it fits. Right there. Okay, let's go. Let's just see if I need to cut the base or not. So might just, um, it might sit on it kind of good actually. What I could do is I could I could make this a little a little thinner. So I'll shave some here. I'll shave some here, um, and let her slide in. Maybe I'll I'll shave a little bit off the bottom too. What I want is a nice even fit. So it just slides right in. So, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna shave this too, make this smoother. There's a little rough in there. And we'll uh, see what ends up. All right, again, trying to do this on camera is super awesome. So, idea, oh, almost, we gotta shave some more. We gotta shave some more. Don't worry, we'll make her fit. I'm not gonna record for a second, I'm gonna get it to fit. Un momento. All right, it's still a tight fit. You can't get it in all the way, so you can see that the van kind of angles in, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna make it a little thicker. So I'm just gonna grab these guys and try and pry them out a little bit. That's better. Better, I'm getting super close. All right, so on the dots in, I ended up cutting out, ooh, come on, and focus now, there we go. I cut out a little bit extra on the wheel well on the back. What I wanted to do is sit right on top of this guy. Now, um, when, when doing this, more metal is, is ideal. I don't wanna to have to build extra parts. So if I can get more metal on this guy to stick to more metal on this guy, that's ideal. So we want, let's see if I can get some film focus. Two, there we go. You hear that little click? So, 
Now I'm gonna push this on the ground really quick and we'll be able to see, not on the ground, but I want this bottom line to match up, to, to be level across. And actually, I might end up knocking down this little dodge bump right there on the bottom because I want it from here to here to be straight. So then I can have a super solid base. Un momento. Look at that, sick, right? So my plan oh, is to fill in all this, fill in the back window. I'll probably keep this window, but not that one. Get this line to go straight across. Um, it'll probably, mm, I don't know yet how I'm gonna transition between higher roof to lower roof. I'll do something. Um, yeah, looking sick. Uh, the next step is stripping paint. Um, this is going to take a little bit of time, so... Uh, but what I do... Well, you get a good idea of what the car is going to look like right there. Okay. What I do is uh, I got some... Uh, I actually used fingernail polish remover with acetone in it. So I jacked my wife's bottle, popped it in here. And actually, I've had something sitting in here for a minute, and I'm not really sure. Oh, actually, I think this was from the, uh, the fat bat. So, again... Um, don't touch it with your fingers because it's acetone. There we go. Check that out. So that that was when I made the fat bat. So this will actually probably really or peel off pretty easy. Let me uh, grab a paper towel. But just so you can see what what it does. Um, see that? just peels right off. That's probably been sitting in there for a couple months though, but then I can use the Dremel with the wire brush and really get into the cracks and stuff. I really don't care about this, but it's kind of cool. So, um, in goes. Now, I gotta make sure they both fit into this puzzle piece, right? So, I think that's probably the easiest way. Something like that, okay. Whoa. Let's do this, so you can get the full effect. Ooh, you ready for that? Dang, Ian, good idea. All right. Bottoms up. Okay, so then I let that sit overnight. It's actually uh, 10 o'clock at night anyways, so. And that will strip the paint. All right, so we'll start with the Moon Eyes van. You can actually kind of tell the paint's already coming off of it. So this one's actually gonna peel off pretty dang easy, which would be nice. So I'm just gonna wipe away a lot of it right now. Look at that. Some some paint's tougher than others. Some are like this, where it's just ridiculously easy to get the paint off. This inside will be fun. So then I'll have to go in here in a bit and get in these lines and get all that paint out before I uh, put it all together. Honestly, it doesn't matter if they're too much on the inside, if there's like paint. I try to still get it as clean as, as, clean as I can on the front and the back, so. I'm just gonna dremel in there real quick and get as much as I can. There you go. I gotta do the dots in here in a minute. And just like I was saying how some of the paint's different, clearly it's different on the dots and you can see it's it's not just wiping off like uh, like the moon eyes was. Um, you can see though, let me see if I can focus it. 
There we go. So it is ready. You know, it's already bubbling up underneath. Um, it's just going to take a little bit extra love as far as my, the Dremel goes. All right, I've just uh, stripped the paint off the dots and the moon eyes. Gonna put them together. Like so. There we go. And again, this is for the Christmas build. This is gonna be like Santa's little sleigh back here. A little bag full of goodies or something. Um, gonna fill in these. They look pretty dope. All right, the epoxy that I use to weld them together or to join them is called JB Weld Quick. You can get it at AutoZone, it's pretty cheap. Um, so you do like 50-50. Now I haven't broken these open in a couple months, so I'm hoping they are not hard on the inside. All right, I was able to get them both successfully open. What you do, just a dab. And then you try and do about that same amount with the other tube. Then I actually use a toothpick and mix it up. Now JB, JB Weld Quick, honestly you gotta get it on within like a minute and then it starts to harden. Um, I usually use scotch tape to, well I'll get to that in a second. So again, um, and it's already a pretty tight fit, but what I'm gonna do is wherever the metal is gonna touch, I wanna just line it in there. And it doesn't have to be pretty because I can clean it up later. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on both sides. More is more, not less is more. Okay. Let's try and squeeze it in. Put some more when I know that they're touching. And again, I'm going to end up cleaning it all up later, but I want it to really adhere to one another. Okay, and again, I'm doing it on the table so I know it's flat. Um, and then I'm actually going to. Double check, make sure it's straight, but you get the idea. All right, I kind of jimmy rigged it, um, but I use electrical tape. Usually I use uh, masking tape, um, but just to make sure it doesn't move overnight, it's already starting to harden, but it's, uh, it's pretty straight. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, it sat overnight, so I'm gonna see if it's stuck together or not. So this is all right if you get a little crap on it. Um, shoot the Dremel and we'll file that down. Usually I do it on like a plastic thing, not a paper plate, but for the video, let's try and do that. But, looks good. So now what I gotta do is uh, add a bunch in here and underneath here, just to kinda, um, make it more sturdy. And then I'm gonna add a piece of metal here, in the, here behind the wheel wells on both sides to uh, fill in the uh, wheel wells. And then same with the windows. All right, so I'm just gonna try and clean up in here a little bit. Um, and then I'll do another layer. And then in a minute, we're going to add some uh, metal to fill. All 
All right, now I'm just gonna clean it out a little bit, make sure it's really good. Now what I'm gonna do um, is I want from about here to about here on the inside to have a rail, and that's what my base is gonna sit on. So I'm gonna use some metal here, just do a strip there and there, and that'll also help me fill in the wheel wells. So if you can picture this going on the inside um, and it's adding stability when I add the JB Weld. Now what I gotta do is I gotta cut a little strip right there so it can slide in. Just like, oops. Just like that. So let's work on that. Well, unfortunately, the little piece on the van fell out. But getting closer, got to go up a little bit higher. Got to do that on both sides. Okay, I was able to um, get it on both sides, got it fit in there. Um, now, what you want is for the line to be as straight as you can, right? So, um, drop it down a little bit. I might straighten those up a little bit, but. It adds some stability behind it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over the top of it with a layer of JB Weld right here. And then smooth it down, smooth from the van to the dots and it'll look really good. I'm also gonna create a piece right here to fill in the window. So what I'm do gonna do, again all this, like it doesn't have to be the exact, well for me, the exact uh, measurement because I'm gonna end up molding it, right? But I just want something on the back end to uh, give it some more stability. Now I'll probably have to bend it or something a little bit um, to get it to fit in there like that. So that's how it's gonna fit in, just to add a little bit more stability. Um, then I got this one right here, right? So we're gonna add JB Weld here, here, here. I got the inside of the windows ready with that. That's gonna go on the inside. I still need to get the inside for this one. Okay, I just created these ones here on the inside to fill in the inner window like that. So again, that'll be filled in, that'll be filled in, that'll be filled in, and that will be filled in, and that will be filled in, and that will be filled in, and that one, and that one, and that one. And then ideally it'll look smooth from here to here, and from here to here, it'll look smooth. All right, so I'm gonna do some JB Weld. Um, what I'm gonna do, because if you can see, it's not sitting straight or uh, flat enough yet. So I'm going to JB Weld it to this, uh, plastic box here um, and do the inside uh, wheel well fillers here fillers here as well, at the same time so and at the end I'm gonna tape it to this box to make sure it stays um, flat so again we're going 50 50 so someone once said less is more not with JB weld more is more we're going hard today You're gonna just try to make it as close to 50-50 as you can. Now, handy dandy toothpick. And again, once you start mixing it, uh, I mean, honestly, you have like a minute before it really starts to harden. Um, they say like, I think it's 15 minutes. I let it sit for like a good couple hours after but you can start to feel it gets hard here pretty quick, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this one side and I'm gonna goop this thing up on the inside. Okay. 
Now, of course, where my hand is holding it, I can't really goop it, so I'm going to add some on here. Okay, and then right in here in these spots, we're gonna add a little bit extra. Because I want it to really adhere to that, okay? So then, I slide it in there. And it's like that. Let's make sure you can see it. Okay. Now I gotta get the other side real quick. And I forgot a paper towel. No, I didn't. Paper towel. Okay, let's get the other side. Make sure you're putting it on the right side. And then again, I put some in here. Where it's gonna be bonding. some over here where my hand is holding it and I want it to be asymmetrical so I'm going to try and line it up with the other side slides in like a glove okay again oh I only got about another 30 seconds before it's really starting to harden so I'm gonna use this extra stuff and put it in here on the edges and then same on the other side okay so now I want to make sure that this is straight which it is now and then that this one is and it looks like it is and then I go down onto here Okay, now, um, again, scotch tape is better. I don't have it, so I'm gonna use electrical tape, but use scotch tape. So my goal here is to get this back of the van down with pressure, like that. And then I want the front of my van down, or in front of my Datsun. Down. There you go. All right, let's take the tape off and see how it looks. Did I go overboard on the tape? No way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some of these inner ones filled in. All right, now I'm gonna do the roof part between the uh, van and the Datsun. Okay, so it's been drying here for a minute. I'm gonna try and take the tape off, see how it's looking. Look at that, coming together. Coming together. All right, we're gonna apply some more JB Weld, start smoothing it out a little bit. Now to get it in the holes, I do it like that, where you kind of like bounce it in and out. Usually it fills in the holes pretty good. So the next step after all this is going to be smoothing it out, and then there's going to be lots more layers. Now what I want to do is I want to try and get this part flat, so I'm going to get the tape. And try and the tape on the... Uh, I go like that. And then what I want to do is try and get smooth it down in there. If 
See, it's already starting to harden. So let's go ahead and fold it up gently. So I'm going to push up here on the metal part, slowly go over, and then push on this metal part. So ideally, when this dries, let me, when this dries, it'll have a straight line right there on the bottom. This other side, it can pretty much just kind of dry the way it is. I'll get a sander and I'll smooth that out. Same with the top, I'll smooth it out. And then really we'll, we'll try and start forming. So the idea is I'm gonna have, so this line right here, I'm gonna try and have that go straight. Okay. And then same with like down, so smooth down. Like that. All right, what we get to do now uh, is some sanding. So I'm trying to get this pretty smooth, and then as well here on the side, smooth here and smooth here. Um, between now and the next time, so I'm gonna do some JB Weld here in a minute too, but uh, tomorrow it's really gonna take shape. It's already starting to take shape, you can see, but um, just wait and see, you know, the next update, I guess. So let's get some sanding in. Oh, I gotta plug it in, hold on. In order for the drill to work, you need to plug it in. So check out right here. So we have a, a hole, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna sand all the way down so it's not a hole, it's just a dip, and then you can fill it in pretty nicely. What I'm working on here on the inside is making everything as smooth as I can. And then you can see the metal pieces that I use to fill in the windows and the base here. Um, in a minute, I'm just gonna coat that in JB Weld as well. Make it just like, try to make it as smooth as I can on the inside. Um, again, the outside's already taken some pretty good shape here, pretty good form. Um, like I was saying, we're gonna do another layer here in a minute, and then uh, the next sand is gonna be, gonna be pretty sweet. My workspace is so dirty when sanding. So I just wanna let you see it before I Coat, coat it up again with uh, JB Weld. So um, this was that big hole that I filled in. Let me grab the pencil. Um, here's another little hole that I'll fill in. Uh, this we got to blend, cover. I'll probably um, sand down that wheel well a little bit more. In fact, I'll do that before I JB Weld. Um, it's it's nice because the darker areas, you know, those are the the holes. Um, so really put some extra attention there. Um, and again, the idea is that this will be a straight line from here to here, straight-ish. Another hole, another wheel well, I gotta drill down. And then, uh, in fact, I'll, I'll sand this down too, so it's smoother. This message is brought to you by JB Weld Quick. Honestly though, JB Weld Quick, y'all should get at me, sponsor me or something. I run out pretty quick. I'll do this in two segments, I'll do one side in the roof, and then I'll do another side because I won't be able to do both with um, without the JB Weld drying out. You guys are probably getting bored of this this part. It's like, oh, more JB Weld, oh, more JB Weld. Yes, that's accurate. Lots and lots and lots. You have to have patience. All right, let's start with uh, one of the sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly put it up. And if you see a hole, you do that little dab. Like that, get it in there. Now, I'll probably do one more without the razor blade, and then the next, the next one I'll add the razor blade. The razor blade, you, you uh, Actually, so this line right here, I'll get that filled in right now. Make sure you dab over the top of it and it'll fill it in. Okay. One side done. Let's get the other side. Let's get the roof. Big old hole right there. All right, so we got that big hole there. We're gonna fill that in. Dab, 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 dab. Over to the window, same thing. Dab it. 
And that wheel well needs some attention. Right there. Man, it's hard to do with this camera in the way. I hope you guys understand the struggle right now. We got some extra JB welds, so let's use it. Oh, see that spot right there needs by the window. Gotta fill it in there. Cool. All right. So the next sand, when I sand it next, it's gonna look, it's gonna look pretty good. It's gonna start to really take form. It already is, you can see. Um, so again, this is for a Christmas build. Uh, we're thinking this is gonna be like the back of the sleigh, something back here, presents, something. Um, I was talking to my brother-in-law, he's a, a art professor at uh, BYU. Um, and he, he said I maybe should do two back wheels, I don't know. I might try and work that out, but uh, that, who knows? So, stay tuned. So, uh, it hardened up on us. It's really starting to take form. Um, gonna sand again, and then the next, uh, the next JB Weld bit will, uh, after that it'll, we may be on to um, the automotive epoxy, but right now it's sanding. And again, I gotta plug it in. All right, so another little sanding session done. I'm, I still gotta clean up in here, back here, right there, right there, but it's looking pretty dope. All right, you know what time it is? JB Well time, sorry, I got a call. This will probably be getting close to the last time I do JB Weld on this. I'm actually running out, I need to get some more. Um, because after this, then we use the automotive Bondo. Make sure that's clean, we'll mix it up. Now, what I'm gonna do with this one, um, I'm gonna put the layer on, and then, you know, I, I'd actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go to try and smooth it out with, uh, with uh, my metal piece here. Might be a little premature, but let's do it. So I put it on here. Okay, and there's a hole right there. I'm gonna put that in there. Hole right there. Now check this out. Here's, here's my secret. Smooth. I should actually go towards me so I can see it, but this camera's in the way. Some more. So ideally what that's doing, that's filling in the holes. Yep, I need to buy some more JB Weld. But you guys get the idea. Well, that's pretty good. That hopefully filled in the holes. Time will tell. All right, get to sand some more. Yeah, let's get at it. All right, more sanding down. Them together. You really only get uh, one shot at paint. I mean, you can skew it, but just wanna make sure as smooth as it can be beforehand. Made the mistake in one of my Hot Wheels and not sanding it down really good. That's the first fat bat and it haunts me. People still comment on YouTube how bad it, it is. So I've learned my lesson. What I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna tape it and hopefully build up this edge like it's supposed to be. Now what I do, I'm gonna get the tape I've done before. 
I'm gonna tape right here. I'm gonna do it on this other side too. That should give me my smooth surface. You can kind of see right here a little dip. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. Ran out of JB Weld, so got some more. Can't stop now. With the JB Weld, um, when you just buy it, it comes sealed. So you use the outside of the cap to poke it. Get a full poke. All the way in, all the way out. And that's too much. Too much. You may be thinking, why so many layers? I keep thinking the same thing. In all seriousness though, I need it smooth. So you do what you gotta do. Now I'm gonna take this opportunity to make the inside smoother with all this extra JB Weld. Okay, we'll let it dry again. Well, it's looking pretty good. Um, I ex extended the uh, the front a little bit more, so um, it's not going to be as drastic of a of a descend there. So I'll try and sand it up a little bit. Well, the top of my car looks pretty good, but I still need to make the sides just a little bit smoother. A little bit smoother. You see that? Yeah. So, another layer. I'm not sure how many layers this is. We probably should have kept track. I suppose that's why we did the video. So maybe I'll go back and count here in a second. But uh, the tape worked out pretty well on the top, so we'll do it again on the sides. And actually what I was going to do real quick before it gets too is I want to line out my door so I don't get crap in my door. Okay, like that. And then now, <clears throat> put this on. It's mostly at the top is where I need it, up here. That's where I need it. So let's tape it up real quick and try and get the other side before it dries. And I might just fold that over. I wonder if I can smooth it out with this. Okay, we'll see how it ends up later. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use some sandpaper and try and get it as fine as I can. Um, it helps if you have like a block or something. So I usually use a mousetrap. Um, I'm going to sand. So I try not to shake the table. I think I need to uh, 
use my Dremel a little bit more right there. There's too much of a hump that the sandpaper can't take out. Okay, now comes the body filler. So the body filler plus the hardener. And this will give me my smooth, over the top coat. So just like Chibi Weld, I do, but it's not 50-50. This is like 95-5. Okay, so then I get my hardener. And remember, with the hardener, a little goes a long way. Okay. To put too much on there. That means it's going to harden quick. Kind of move quick because it's going to harden quick. That's all she wrote. That's all I could get on it on that one. So we'll let it dry. We'll see. All right, so <clears throat> about done with sanding. Um, I was brainstorming last night. Well, more, more just thinking in my head, what I'm gonna do as far as the wheels. And I remembered, I remembered something. I have an extra bit of wheels and there's one big one in there. Well, there's actually two, but. <clears throat> These came off of the uh, Volkswagen drag bus or something like that. But what do you think? Dope, right? I know, it is dope. So that's my plan, but now I gotta make this wheel well bigger. So I found this little sanding thing and that's gonna help me draw the line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Kind of unsure about it, but in this game, you gotta take risks. So I'm gonna go with this under circle. Then hopefully I can get the other one to match up. So you can't make a straight line with this blade. All right, let's get the wheel and see what she looks like. Pretty sweet. Wouldn't you agree? Of course you would. Why? Because this is a video and well, actually you'll probably tell me in the comments. Good and bad. Alright trolls, what do you think? What I gotta do is now get this side to match this side. Okay, there's a big difference right now. So we're gonna go straight across here. Use what tools you have, guys. So that's the edge of that one. Um, and this edge should be dang near the close to the same. It is a little different though, I forgot. Then our tool that we used. Now if I remember correctly, I had it just above the center dot. It was just above the edge here. Something like that. Now how high, who knows. If we line up this line and that line, we should get it. Right there, right there, out there. Let me just make the line and see what it looks like. You see that fly? It's pissing me off, man. Jeez, this camera's in the way. Well, I think it's a touch too far back. Um, so I'm just gonna keep mental note of that. I like to just wing it. So let's see what we come up with. Let's 
check again. Closer. There we go. Now I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit with the sander. All right, so this is how it sits currently. You can imagine this is gonna sit up a little bit once I get the front ones. But it's looking pretty sweet. As I've been thinking about my build here, um, it was sitting too high. Um, if I can. So if you can picture, that's like the, the lowest it would be and my skis are gonna be pretty high off the ground. I want it lower. Um, so what I gotta do, is have to make this wheel wheel higher. So add a little bit. So right now I'm right here. And I want it to go like right there. And I don't want these on the inside. I want it like out like that. So I gotta take this higher. Okay, let's give that one a go. better. You can already tell it's better. But you gotta imagine it's not gonna be that snug, you know what I mean? We have to clear it out some. So I got it pushed in there. Um, I don't need it too deep because I'm gonna pile it on. So you don't, you're not even gonna know how deep it is. Not only that, I need the wheels to be able to fit without it scraping. So let's glue it up. Okay, I got the inside of my um, truck bed or whatever you wanna call it, Santa, Santa bed. Um, so I'm just going to JB weld it in there. First I'm going to line the inside with it. I need to get some tape ready. I'm going to leave it at that for now and we'll touch it up in a little bit. Okay, so we got the the bed in there. Um, I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of JB Weld around the inside, build it up, shape it up. Okay, so I'm gonna get this ready underneath. I don't want a whole bunch spilling out underneath. We're gonna have to do more later. I'm gonna do a little more JB Weld. And I'm gonna actually smooth it up, smooth it out with my finger. Wash your fingers right after. Layers on layers on layers. I guess actually I don't need to do it with my finger because I was able to get it in pretty good. And honestly, it's going to be um, covered up anyways, so it's not too big of a deal. But okay. All right, we're going to do another layer of um, automotive epoxy. Um, reason being is that. As I was doing the <clears throat> the uh, the bed part, I could tell some more imper imperfections were coming through. Um, I want to do less hardener on this one, um, so that I have time to smooth it out. I might need a little bit more hardener, but no, we should be alright. And then what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the uh, 
razor blade to really make sure it's smooth. So right here. And then, razor blade, and you just go across. All right, let it dry. Got my two skis. And that's gonna sit just like that. I got this one uh, painted, well, primered. Um, there's a pretty big flaw right here I'm gonna fix, and then also this line that goes all the way back. I didn't even see it before. So I'm gonna get some sanding in. When spray painting, I try to have nice, even strokes.
Here we add the final details with the paint, some headlights, and we'll also paint the grill. For those of you who have tuned in for the entire video, I appreciate you watching how I created Santa's Dotson sleigh. Now, if you would please hit that subscribe button and go check out some of my other customs on there. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And again, thanks for tuning in.